in this module, we will look at the emergency equipment installed on the aircraft. We will start with the flight deck equipment and then move on to the cabin equipment. Emergency equipment is located in the flight deck and in the cabin. Each crew member location in the flight deck has smoke goggles and a quick donning oxygen mask. The other equipment in the flight deck consists of life vests, a portable halon fire extinguisher, a crash axe, fire resistant gloves, and flashlights. Also, the flight deck has a smoke hood and an escape rope, which is stored above the electronics rack. The quick donning oxygen mask is discussed in the oxygen module and will not be reviewed here. Two flashlights are located on either side of the flight deck. These are standard battery operated flashlights. A halon fire extinguisher and a crash axe are located at the bottom of the electric rack, in the left side of the cargo compartment. The halon fire extinguisher is mounted on a stowage bracket, with a retaining collar that can be quickly disconnected. The halon fire extinguisher is effective on paper, fuel, oil and electrical fires. Halon extinguishes a fire by displacing oxygen, thereby preventing the fire from burning. This is different from water extinguishers, which extinguish fires by cooling and wetting the material that is on fire. If the fire extinguisher is going to be discharged in the flight compartment, crew members are cautioned to don their oxygen masks with 100% oxygen selected. Exposure to high levels of halon may result in dizziness impaired coordination, and reduced mental alertness. Since halon displaces oxygen, prolonged exposure could result in suffocation. A red safety pin locks the trigger. This prevents any accidental discharge of the fire extinguisher. The first step is to remove the extinguisher from its stowage bracket by releasing the latching mechanism. This opens the retaining collar, and enables the extinguisher to be removed from the stowage bracket. The next step is to remove the safety pin. This will allow you to squeeze the trigger, and direct the discharge of halon towards the fire. For maximum effectiveness, you should aim the nozzle towards the base of the fire. The effective discharge time is approximately 10 seconds. You should promptly ventilate the flight deck after discharging the halon fire extinguisher. A placard on the front of the fire extinguisher provides instructions on the use of the fire extinguisher. A smoke hood is located behind the captain's seat. The smoke hood provides oxygen to crew members without the need of being tethered to the oxygen system. The smoke hood typically provides 15 minutes of oxygen. The smoke hood provides oxygen and protects the crew members against smoke. The smoke hood produces oxygen and using carbon dioxide scrubbers, absorbs the carbon dioxide from the exhaled air. The hood is packaged in a hermetically sealed pouch inside a stowage box to maintain the integrity of the hood. The smoke hood consists of a durable, tear-resistant combination of polymer film and reflective material. The inner surface is designed to prevent fogging of the mask while the hood is worn. The hood contains two oxygen cylinders and a carbon dioxide scrubber. The smoke hood is activated by pulling the two cylinders apart. This causes one of the bottles to rapidly discharge oxygen. The content of the second oxygen cylinder is discharged over time. The hood will supply 15 minutes of oxygen. To don the PBE, place both hands inside the neck seal opening with palms facing each other and the PBE visor facing downward with the KO2 canister resting on top of the hands. With the head bent forward, 
Guide the PBE neck seal over the top of the head and down over the face, using the hands to shield the face and glasses from the blue oral nasal mask cone. When the neck seal is positioned at the neck and the KO2 canister is resting on the nape of the neck, remove the hands, checking to see that clothing is not trapped in the seal and that hair does not protrude between the seal and the neck. If this is not accomplished, smoke or fumes may enter and oxygen may escape. Using both hands, pull the protective shield down over the collar and upper shoulder area. Move the hands forward to grasp the adjustment straps at the lower corners of the visor and pull forward sharply. Pulling actuates the starter candle and within one to three seconds a rushing noise of oxygen entering the hood and hood inflation will be evident. With the straps still in hand and the head bent forward, pull backward to secure the oral nasal mask cone to a comfortable and tight fitting seal. The oral nasal face piece must be properly positioned high on the nose and held firmly against your face for proper functioning of the PBE. Lowering of the mask position will put pressure on the nose and can cause mask slippage and seal leakage. If leakage is felt during your exhalation or fogging is observed on the visor, you should reposition and retighten the adjustment straps to get a good seal between your face and mask cone. If wearing eyeglasses, create a wide opening through the neck seal. After activating and adjusting the hood straps, do not attempt to adjust through the neck seal as this will break the seal to the outside atmosphere. Adjust the position of the lens to rest on top of the oral nasal mask cone by moving the sides of the frame through the hood fabric. When the hood is properly positioned, obtain your extinguisher and proceed to extinguish the fire. Remember, although your head area is protected, the rest of your body is not, and you should guard against a feeling of invincibility. After use, to remove the hood, locate the buckles at the lower corners of the visor and push forward with the thumbs to release the straps. This action can also be accomplished by pulling the side straps forward. Remove the hood by inserting your hands under the neck seal and pulling it over the front of your face, then stow the used unit in the appropriate location. Brush your hair with your hands to break down any oxygen buildup which may have accumulated. And finally, complete the necessary paperwork to ensure proper handling and disposal. The smoke hood is no longer usable once the hood collapses and touches the user's head and face. In addition, a red light flashes inside the hood to indicate that it is no longer useful. It should be noted that the hood may collapse before the light flashes, or vice versa. In either case, the hood is no longer useful and should be removed. Life vests are located behind the first officer's seat. The life vests are contained in sealed plastic pouches. Each life vest incorporates a clear locator light, two red oral inflation tubes, inflation tabs, a seawater battery, and a yellow signal light tab. The life vest is donned by sliding the vest over the head with the back piece behind. Two straps are connected to the back piece. The end of the strap consists of a clip. The straps are wrapped around the waist and the clip of each strap is hooked to the attachment ring. The fitting of the straps can be adjusted by pulling on the straps. This secures the life vest to the user. The life vest is inflated by releasing compressed air from two compressed air bottles. There is a bottle for each chamber of the vest. The compressed air is released by sharply pulling on the two red inflation tabs located at the base of each chamber of the vest. The life vest chambers can be manually inflated in the event there is no compressed air in the bottle or the bottle fails to release the compressed air. The chambers are inflated by blowing through the red oral inflation tube. An escape rope is located above the electrical rack for use with the flight deck emergency exit. There are also smoke goggles for each crew member.
There is a pair of fire resistant gloves for each pilot. Cabin emergency equipment consists of portable fire extinguishers, smoke hoods, flashlights, and a first aid kit. In addition, a life vest is stowed in a pouch under each passenger seat and at the cabin crew stations. There are two portable fire extinguishers located in the cabin. There is a water fire extinguisher located near the front of the cabin, on the left side, next to the emergency exit. A Halon fire extinguisher is located next to the rear cabin crew station. The water fire extinguisher consists of a mixture of water and glycol. A compressed air cartridge is used to pressurize the content of the bottle. The compressed air cartridge is housed in the cylindrical handle. A flange at the base of the handle prevents the trigger from being squeezed. The water fire extinguisher can be discharged by releasing the compressed air from the cartridge. This is done by rotating the handle. This causes the cartridge to advance forward, and the seal of the cartridge to be punctured. Squeezing the trigger releases the compressed air in the bottle and the content of the bottle is discharged. The water fire extinguisher is effective against paper and cloth type fires. It should not be used against electrical and grease type fires. A first aid kit is located in the aft section of the aircraft, on the right side. The cabin has two smoke hoods. A smoke hood is located near each fire extinguisher. These smoke hoods are similar to the ones installed in the flight deck, and they are therefore interchangeable. There are two emergency flashlights in the cabin. These emergency flashlights are recharged by the aircraft's electrical system. One flashlight is located near the left forward emergency exit, and the second flashlight is located near the rear cabin crew station. Each passenger seat and cabin crew station has a life vest. They are similar to the ones in the flight deck. Their operation is identical. The life vests are stowed in plastic pouches under each passenger seat and near the cabin crew stations. The cabin also incorporates a portable oxygen bottle. This bottle is discussed in the oxygen module. This concludes the emergency equipment module.